Hi folks, Donnie D here. I uh, finally got a chance to go out to my little shooting place this, uh, this uh, morning. Uh, tried to go out before it got too, uh, too warm and uh, start setting up and getting used to shooting my uh, Savage Axis uh, chamber in 308 with this uh, new uh, Nikon Pro Staff 3 to 9 by 50 millimeter scope that I put on it uh, about a week ago. Uh, I had only shot this gun uh, about three rounds and as you know the Savage Axis doesn't come with any sights or optics so I just shot it, just held it up and shot it just to see what it felt like. So today was my first time actually shooting the gun um, uh, and my overall uh, impressions of it is very positive. I really like it. Had a fall with it. You know, just had a great time. Probably ran about 50 rounds through it. Uh, started out shooting this um, uh, ZQ1 uh, 760 by 51 stuff that I got from Walmart. Uh, I don't even know what grain it is. It doesn't say on the box, so I'm not even sure. I have a few rounds. I don't know, maybe eight or ten rounds left in this little box here, from where I had uh, been shooting my uh, four rounds miles that I've got this chamber in 308. Then I also shot some of them, I'm not sure where I got this from, some of this Federal uh, uh, 149 grain stuff, and then I shot some of this uh, Winchester 147 grain stuff. Couldn't really tell any difference uh, with the ammo. Uh, I wouldn't have known the difference if I, if I hadn't known I was shooting something different, but, but anyway, the rifle itself did great. I uh, started out at 25 yards, because just to see if it was on paper, and it was shooting pretty much low. At first I started to shim it, but I decided not to do that. I decided to adjust it out, and I was able to adjust that out. Uh, moved on to 50 yards, took a few shots, moved on to 75 yards, took a few, and then finally ended up at 100 yards, and uh, spent most of my time shooting at 100 yards. Actually, I felt like I was shooting a little better at 100 yards than I was at the other three distances, but it's probably because I was beginning to get used to the recoil. This thing's got a pretty tight recoil, if you ask me. It's such a lightweight gun, um, and I'm not used to shooting 30 caliber uh, rifles, so uh, I had took a little bit of getting used to for me, but um, I'm beginning to settle down with it, and as I shoot it more and more, I'll get more and more used to it. But uh, compared to this AR-15 and 5.56223, it's quite a, quite a difference in recoil. But anyway, I was beginning to get used to it. Uh, this is actually my best group that I shot at 100 yards. It's, as you can see, it's a, it's a five shot group. I have a couple of off to the side here, but this little three inch, uh, first three shots, I believe it was, that I took with it on this group, or about one inch, so that's pretty good. And actually, it's upside down. It was actually shooting a little bit low still. But by the time I got out there and was shooting at 100 yards, this barrel was getting pretty hot. So I decided rather than do any further adjustment, I'd wait until I went back next time and started out with a cool barrel and clean barrel before I actually tried to get it right on the bullseye uh, just in case the hot barrel and the dirty barrel was affecting it in any way. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you. Um, the things I like about the gun, I, I, actually I like the stock even though it's a fairly cheap plastic stock, very, very lightweight. I just like the feel of it. Uh, I like this uh, little groove up here, which gives you a really good, to me, uh, secure grip. I like the recoil pad. You need it with the recoil that this thing puts out. I like the fact that it has a, that it does have a stud for a, uh, sling swivels. And also, by the way, any of you that have an axis uh, and don't know how to get the recoil pad off, you have to unscrew, I figured out you have to unscrew the back uh, uh, swivel stud and then press down this little button and it'll slide right out. Someone had already tried to get this one off by just pushing this down and it had actually broken it off, so I, I took it off and glued this piece back up in here. But you have to back this uh, sling swivel out, push down your little tab here and pull and then pull the whole thing out. It'll come out. But other things I like about it, I do like the uh, where the safety is located. The slide safety works real good. It's got an extremely uh, uh, smooth uh, bolt. I really like the way that feels. Uh, as for the, uh, the uh, scope, uh, I, I'm really happy with the scope. I'm glad I went ahead and got a Nikon. Um, uh, it's got a really nice, easy 
Smooth uh, uh, Focus Adjustment. I really, really like the turrets. They're zero resettable, easily done. Just, just uh, all you have to do is pull up on the turret or pull out on the turret is put a windage, turn it to zero, and let it drop back down, and you're done. No screws in or anything to mess with. And the turrets are adjustable without tools, just using your fingers. Uh, I like the little uh, bikini uh, strap or whatever you want to call it. Uh, lens covers, once you take them off, they're out of your way. You don't have anything flipped up, you know, in your face or anything like that. Also, the mount that I got and these rings, these uh, BSA uh, steel adjustable one inch uh, scope rings, those things are solid as a rock. Uh, like I said, I ran about 50 rounds through it today. Everything held just tight. Didn't have to retighten anything. Everything held up solid as a dollar. Um, the only thing uh, that I don't like about the rifle is the trigger uh, pull. The trigger itself is nice and crisp. Uh, no loss motion in it or anything. No grit to it. It's just that it's uh, got a little bit too much pull for me. It's about, a, from what I understand, I didn't measure. I don't have anything to measure it with, but I understand it's probably about a six to seven pound pull. But there's a really easy, uh, I find online, a really easy uh, fix for that. A uh, trigger job that you can do on it takes just a few minutes and it should reduce the trigger pull down to about three and a half to four pounds. I've uh, seen it done several times on YouTube, so it seems to be a safe one to do. I'm going to try it anyway and see how it does. Uh, hopefully that will make the trigger feel a little bit better to me. Uh, it, it, like I said, it's a really crisp, uh, nice trigger. But it's hard enough that it causes me to kind of wiggle the gun just a little bit just before <coughs> just before it breaks, and I need something that's a little bit easier to pull. But anyway, uh, I went out today, had a great time with this rifle. I've got less than $500 in a 308 with a really nice scope on it. I don't see how you can beat that with a stick. But anyway, uh, for right now, uh, my little range report on my Savage Axis 308 with the Nikon 3 to 9 by 50 scope. Have a great time today. I uh, recommend this rifle and this combination. I don't see how you can beat it. But uh, have fun. This is Donnie D. And I'll see you later. Bye.